top of the list is to understand that we are in a change, change, changed and changed marketplace. For the longest time, the model has been that a, an artist will complete uh, their MFA, their BFA, and they will look for artist representation. And the, the gallerist was hopefully to be the, the, the guiding figure in that person, that, that young artist's life, to build their career. This still does happen to some degree, but in many cases, because of the influences of the art fairs, the speed with which art, art market transactions are happening and the globalized art, art market, this relationship between the gallerist and the artist is not working the same way and may not even be as in the artist's interest as it may have been in the past. So, for example, we have the problem that gallerists can only bring so many artists to the art fairs. The art fairs, for example, are becoming a very key place where artists attain visibility. So, one of the things that we need, to, that artists need to consider is a diversification strategy. Don't put all um, hopes into an artist uh, gallerist relationship. Don't have the expectation that the gallerist is going to be an omniscient person who's going to be there for the medium to long run and is going to be responsible for the success or failure of an, art, of an artist's career. Instead, artists have to be much more savvy today in terms of identifying where they can achieve the exposure to the group of people who would appreciate their work and be able to contextualize their work, make their work accessible and uh, available to the people who can contribute towards their careers. So that's one of the most important things that we need to consider is the shift in the artist-gallerist relationship.